Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look around all of my fish tank. So I thought we'd do a fish room tour rather than a rainforest room tour. And partly because we've looked at the five belly toads over the last couple of weeks and I also did a K video on Castro recently. Um, I've also got an update I need to give you on Bird the Panther Chameleon, but that will come in a future video. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. As you may have already seen, I'm releasing the usual video on a Sunday, but I'm also now releasing a short Why Not Wednesday video as well every Wednesday. But if you'd like more regular updates on this channel, then make sure you check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, whatever you fancy. I'll put the links down in the description, so just go and check those out. I think that's enough for me waffling on for now. Let's crack on with today's video and let's check out the first tank. Okay, so I thought we'd go around the room the opposite way that we did last time. So we'll start things off with the Discus the Angel Fish Tank. So this is a 40 gallon breeder tank and it houses my four juvenile Discus and two of my adult silver angelfish. There's also a Koi angelfish in here as well, as well as three Romanos Tetra, a Black Phantom Tetra and a Silphan Pocosmus. For those of you who've been following the channel for quite a while, I've been talking about the plans for this tank coming up. Now this isn't the permanent home for all of these fish. We also got a 50 gallon tank that we're going to be upgrading these fish into. So I will be moving the four discus as well as the two silver angel fish. The other odd fish will go into my plant bin or my quarantine tub. And unfortunately we will be looking to get rid of tank myself and Pocostomus. Now the main reason for this is that I'm not going to really be able to have a tank big enough up in this room to house him permanently. It's not something I really want to do is the animal I've had in this room the longest. I've had him probably over six years now, but I'd rather him go to a home that somebody can look after him properly, as sad as it is to get rid of him. Now in one of the last updates, we did try to pretty this tank up a little bit, and we added some water sprite in there, we added some Anubias and some Java ferns. Now the water sprite wasn't a great success, the angelfish and the discus seems to just pulled that apart, and it isn't staying on the branches. So I am going to look to try and do something more permanent for this, just to make it look a bit nicer, especially as this is the tank you see when I'm sat at my desk in most of the videos. So if you want to see what's going to happen with this tank and the upgraded tank for the fish, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now on the last update, unfortunately, um, we did lose one of my female angelfish. Now the discus decided to start to breed and pair off and they were trying to establish their hierarchy and unfortunately the angelfish took the brunt of this. Now the discus fish have calmed down slightly. I've literally just done a 50% water, water change on them now and I'm sat here telling you they're doing fine and they're quarreling a little bit. They've definitely settled down and they're not fighting as much as they were and they're definitely establishing their hierarchy. There are a couple of scales missing from some of the discus, but this was to be expected in the first couple of weeks. But this tank is just run on a Fluval 206 canister filter, it's the old series of the Fluval filters. It's got a basic glass aquarium heater in there, and that's all that's running on this tank. It's got two uh, T5 bulbs in the top. Now, anything running on any of these enclosures today, I'll leave links in the description for you. So if you want to go and buy something similar to yourself, then you can do that. But I think that's enough on this tank, let's move on to the next. Okay, so we'll start at the bottom of the rack. For those of you who have seen the last couple of videos, we set this quarantine tub slash plant bin slash hospital tank up uh, from scratch. Now we did use this to house the angelfish in while we were going through them fighting. Unfortunately, the angelfish didn't make it. Um, I wanted to add a fish into this tank just to obviously keep the filter going, also give some nutrients to the plants as we've got a big order in there at the moment. So a couple of weeks ago, we went out and bought this flame gourami for this tank. Now I was considering a name for him and I think I'm going to call him Frank. Now this is a 60 litre food safe container and I'm just running a simple internal filter in there as well as an air pump and we've got a glass aquarium heater in there that's running on 25 degrees Celsius. Again I'll leave links in the description for any of the items on this setup if you want to go do something to me yourself. But this bin comes in really handy when I've got plant deliveries or if I need to separate fish or we need to quarantine new fish to put in some of the existing tanks. As well as I do like to sit in front of it in the evening and Frank comes up to see me and he's quite interactive. It's like sitting in front of a pond, so that's quite nice. But we do have plans for all these plants in the bin at the moment. I'm going to be updating some of the nano tanks that we'll go through today. As well as we've got a new AJ45P aquarium come in with a twin star light, new filter, new equipment, new substrate, plants, everything. So we'll be ordering fish for those very soon. So as soon as I get some updates on that, I'll post it on my social media and I'll get an update video for you on this channel. 
but not much to update you on really in this tub. The plants are done well in it and obviously Frank is our new, one of our newest inhabitants and he's doing really well. But I think it's time to move on to the next tank. Okay, so this is one of the last nano tanks that we set up and this is the Ember Valley tank. So it houses, I think it's eight Ember Tetras in there as well as four Blue Dream Shrimp. We haven't lost any fish at the moment. There is an odd fish in there. He seems to look exactly at the Ember Tetras, but he's a bluey gray color. So if any of you know what this is about, then please let me know in the comment section below. So this is quite a simple setup. We've got some Siri stone in there. We've attached some Anubius Bonsai to it and some Usophalandra Wavy Green as well. We did add some substrate in the back as well to add some of the Nephelia and those are doing quite well and they're starting to grow over the top of the rocks at the moment. But we did add some Retala Bonsai in there as well which is a tropical one to grow. Um, they're growing slightly but not as quickly as I'd like and the substrate is probably quite chunky for planting this in and the fish seem to rip it out. So I'm probably going to remove this and add it to another tank. I've got some ideas what I'm going to do with that and we'll probably add something a bit more substantial in the back to give this a bit more of a completed look. But this is a five gallon aquarium, again it's a simple internal filter running it and it doesn't have a heater at the moment because the temperature of the room keeps it roughly about 22 to 23 degrees which is fine. Now I've added some custom lids to the top of the tank as well and that's just 3 mil acrylic sheets and I've had it pre-drilled a hole in the middle just for feeding to make it that much easier. Now like I said we are going to be sprucing up this tank a little bit and adding some new plants in just to give it a bit more interest and probably suit the tank a little bit better. It'd be nice to have that woodland look in the back not just the stuff in the foreground. But generally I'm really happy with this tank, it's quite easy to take care of. I don't really have any algae issues in this tank at the moment. And that's probably because it's quite a low light tank, it's got a simple strip LED light at the top. And it probably, and because it's quite a tall tank and one of the tallest shelves, it probably doesn't get as much light. But these are quite simple to take care of plants and they're doing really well in this environment. But I think that's enough on this tank, let's check out the next. Okay, so this is the most recent tank we took a look at. Obviously on the first Why Not Wednesday video, I introduced you to my new beta fish and I asked you to give me some suggestions on what we should call it. And I'll announce the name in the next Why Is It Wednesday video. So just make sure that you hit me up in the comment section and give me your suggestions of what we think we should name this fish. But like I've said in the past, I'm not massively in love with this scape at the moment. All of the plants didn't work out. As you can see, the Christmas moss is doing really well and needs to trim back on the bogwood. We've got some wavy green Bucephalandras in there, but they're not doing great. I may move them to more of a sheltered, shaded area. But it's just a sand substrate in the bottom with fluval stratum in the back for planting, but obviously there's no plants in there at the moment. We did have some dwarf Sagittaria in there, but they sort of melted back and haven't reappeared since. Now this is a five gallon long tank, and it's, again, it's got a simple internal filter and a non-adjustable heater in there, which runs the tank at 25 degrees, which is perfect. Now I do water changes on these nano tanks probably once every five days to a week and that seems to stay on top of them. I usually do about 50% water change. Just in case of cleaning the glass, cleaning the filter, wiping over the lid and that's pretty much it. But I've been really happy with this beta fish, it's quite unusual, I've never seen this sort of colour one before. You guys may have seen one but I definitely haven't and I'm really pleased that we decided to pick him up. But I think he's dying for a new name so please make sure you hit the comment section and give me some suggestions. I'd be really interested to see what you guys think. I'm not going to go too much more into this tank now as we went over it in the last video. Let's move on to the next. Okay, so this is my five gallon desk aquarium for my beta fish Bruce. Now we've tried a few things out in this tank over the past couple of months. Now we added the Monte Carlo as an experiment to see if we could carpet that out without the addition of injected CO2, which seems to have worked. The Monte Carlo is not as perhaps as bright in color at the moment, and that partially could be down to the fact that the window's been open with the no blinds down and the sun's been getting at it. But I'm gonna cover the windows up with some window screen very soon, because last summer I did lose some fish because they were baking with the sun on the window into the tanks. But again, this is similar to all the other nano tank systems I've got set up. It's got an in, a simple internal filter as well as a non-adjustable heater and that keeps her at 25 degrees. With all my planted tanks, I do add fertilizer to them so they get a combination of things. So they get Flourish XL, they also get Flourish fertilizer and then they also get Flourish iron. And I usually do Flourish XL every other day and I usually do fertilizer twice a week and iron twice a week and that seems to be setting it okay. 
If you're adding a lot of fertilizers, really important that you do a weekly water change just to remove any of the excess nutrients and set that balance back. And then also you can carry on fertilizing throughout the week. Otherwise you're gonna get a buildup of nutrients and you're gonna get algae issues and potentially health issues for the fish. But I feed these nano tanks every other day and they get a combination of dried foods, flakes, pellets, frozen food, live foods, anything I can get my hands on, just give them as much variety as I possibly can. But Bruce seems to be doing really well in his tank and I'm really happy with the way he's coming along. And he's just a nice fish to have on the desk as he likes to show off when I'm sat around. But I think that's enough on this tank, let's move on to the last. Okay, so I might have mentioned in the past couple of videos, I've had some issues with my 20 gallon nano tank. Now this is my 20 gallon nano community tank and it houses uh, 15 Harlequin Raspora, it's got 10 Galaxy Raspora and a handful of Cherry Shrimp. And I also added my remaining Clown Kelly fish into this tank as well. We did initially add a sparkling Garami into this tank, but unfortunately it didn't last very long. I don't know whether they're going to replace it or not, but there's some things I need to rectify in this tank before we look at any of that. Now we did have some algae issues when we took a look at this tank before, unfortunately that hasn't improved that much and that's just because unfortunately some of the seal on the top of the tank has got a slight leak in it which causes a drip every so often and collects in the plastic trim underneath the tank. So I've had to lower the tank level at the moment and I'm going to repair that with some silicone but we'll do that in a full video and give you an update on that. Not only that, unfortunately I bought a 207 canister filter by Fluval back in February and unfortunately that started to leak the other day. I've nothing I can see why that's happening, the seal's still in there, but unfortunately that's had to come out and that's why that, this internal filter sat in the tank at the moment. So I did get a bit frustrated with this tank and I haven't done a great deal on it. I did a water change on it yesterday and tried to tackle some of the algae issues, but we will next week look at rectifying this tank and getting repaired and getting back to the way that it was. It was really disappointing because this is one of my favorite tanks and is one of the things I do like to sit in front of the most. So I'm really keen to get this back up to where it needed to be and carry on progression with this. But I did turn the lights off for about a week, so didn't have any light on for about seven days. And since I've done that, the cherry shrimp have bred so much. So I've just found so many babies since I turned the lights on. So I'm hoping they'll continue to breed and keep the tank as healthy as we can. But I don't know what I'm gonna do about the filter yet. I'm probably gonna contact the store I got it from, see whether they're gonna offer a replacement. Otherwise, it might be forking out for a new one, but we'll have to see. So a bit of a disaster on this tank at the moment, it's not looking too bad now because I've done a water change, cleaned up the algae, wiped down the glass, but it still needs a lot of work to get it back to where it was, but I suppose it'd be worth it in the end if we can sort this out. But as you can see the plants are still doing pretty well considering I have the lights off for a week, the Anubias are still doing pretty well, there's a little bit of yellowing on some of the leaves and the, the spike moss has just still carried on going out of control. I'm probably going to remove the Monte Carlo, it doesn't look the best in there, I might add some crypts or maybe some dwarf hair grass but if you've got any suggestions, I'd love to hear what you think. But again, this is just run on a internal filter for now because the canister filter is not working. I've also got a simple glass heater in there and this tank runs at 25 degrees. And I usually do a water change on this once a week and that's usually about 50% and it gets the same fertilizers as the rest of the tanks. But again, anything that is used in this tank, I'll add in the links, I'll add links in the description for you. But I think that's enough in this tank and I'll rejoin you at the desk. Okay, so welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed that little tour of our fish room. Obviously, we've got amphibians and reptiles as well, and I'll do some updates on those, as we've done quite a lot on those the last couple of weeks. And I've got an update on bird to come out as well, as well as some updates on getting some of these nano tanks looking a lot better, some planting, and we do have their new tank coming this week. I just sent an email to confirm they'll be here by the end of this week, which is great. But I think we're definitely getting there now, and these tanks are looking a lot more presentable. I think there's still a lot we can do to make them look a lot nicer, like I said, but we'll do that in time. And I'll make sure I get regular updates for you on what's going on. Like I said in the start of the video, I'm also doing a short video on a Wednesday as well as a full update video on a Sunday. But just make sure you don't miss out on any of this video, just make sure you are subscribed. But if you're a returning viewer to this channel, if you do me a massive favour and hit that thumbs up and drop me a comment as well to show you YouTube that you're enjoying this sort of content and it allows me to make more videos like these. As always, anything we've covered today or any of the equipment will be in the links in the description down below. So if you're interested in picking up any of those, then feel free. The links are in my social media, my merch stores, and if you're interested in any of my t-shirts, then those will be down there as well. But if you go over and check out my Facebook page, there's a competition on how to win a free unisex t-shirt, so make sure you don't miss out on the opportunity for that. 
and I'll announce the winner after the 11th of May. But lots of content to come, as I said, we've got updates on some of the reptiles and amphibians. I want to try and update some of the tanks. We've got a new scape coming. There's plenty to be going on. We've got to repair that tank, and that's going to be quite a job, get a new filter. So plenty of things to come. So make sure you don't miss out on any of those. But I think that's enough for me waffling on for today. And enough from my fish, and we'll see you next time.